The Russian opposition publication of Important Stories collected several articles by Z bloggers who were complaining that the Russian Defense Ministry has disbanded unofficial drone units of the Russian army. Moreover, those drone operators were transferred to infantry to be thrown into assaults on AFU positions. Analysts from the Institute for the Study of War decided to analyze these articles. Some Russian war correspondents complained about the Russian Defense Ministry's command that it still favors meat assaults rather than remote combat. In some assault companies, only 20 out of 90 men are real stormtroopers and the rest are former drone operators. Another part of the Z bloggers linked these trends to recent efforts by the Russian Defense Ministry to form United Technical Battalions of Drones and the Rubicon Center for Advanced Unmanned Technologies. Many Russian Armed Forces commanders fear that by doing so, the Defense Ministry will deprive them of available manpower that can be used for meat assaults. Moreover, some Russian military observers oppose the Ministry of Defense's initiative to create a technical battalion of drones because there will be no unified communication system between them, which would allow them to coordinate their actions among themselves. In addition, it would take a very long time for the Russian Defense Ministry to establish unified communication between drone operators and assault teams on the front lines. As a result, enemy attack aircraft will be left without air cover. Not so long ago, Russian war correspondents were already crying over the liquidation of two drone operators from the 87th Rifle Regiment, Dmitry Lysakovsky and Sergei Gritse, after they were sent to one of the assault groups in Donbass. Lysakovsky and Gritse accused their new commander, Igor Puzik, of disbanding their drone squad after they quarreled with him and filtering their team members into infantry platoons. Dozens of Russian commentators have blasted the circumstances of the deaths, with some calling for a ban on assigning specialists like snipers or drone operators to infantry assaults. The very fact of repurposing an effective UAV reconnaissance crew into assault infantry in the current conditions is, to put it mildly, sabotage, wrote Russian pro-Kremlin journalist Alexander Kotz. They further alleged that Puzik had facilitated drug trafficking in his unit and falsely reported battalion gains under his command. Analysts at the ISW believe that the reduction of Russian drone specialists could also at least temporarily hamper Russian drone operations if the Russian Ministry of Defense continues its efforts to centralize them. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday met North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Sun Hui who has been on an official visit to Russia since late last week. State television showed them greeting each other but details of the meeting were not available. Cho started her visit on talks with her Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov last Friday. Their meeting in Moscow came on the heels of the Pentagon statement that North Korea has deployed about 10,000 troops to Russia to fight against Ukraine within the next several weeks. Neither Moscow nor Pyongyang have specified the agenda for Ko's talks in Moscow but in a closed-door hearing at South Korea's parliament, the South Spy Agency said Cho may be involved in high-level discussions on sending additional troops to Russia and negotiating what the North would get in return. South Korean and Western officials have voiced concern that Russia may offer technology that could advance the threat posed by North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile program. Russia and North Korea signed a strategic partnership agreement earlier this year. Oh, drone, 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 drone! Quem falou? Que amigo? Lá Rio, lá Rio! 
É amigo, é amigo, é amigo! É amigo, ele falou, dá vai, dá vai, suca! Eu acho que eu derrubei. Derrubou não, eu vi. Mas ele penou de um lado. Será que o morador vai brigar se você sentar na cama? Não, pô, pode ter uma